Good Friday morning. Welcome back, everybody. As we head into the first weekend of this state of emergency in Ontario, we're thinking about the hardest hit industries, including restaurants and bars who have had to close their doors. Yeah, for more on this impact, we're joined by David Hopkins, president of the restaurant consulting firm, The 15 Group. Good morning, David. Thank you for joining us so far this morning. Good morning. How are you? We're great. Thank you. And it's just been a few days of the closures. And as Dina mentioned, we're going into this weekend. It's the first weekend where we're going to see these restaurants and bars shut down. What have you heard from owners and employees about the impact they've had so far? Well, I mean, we know firsthand it's, it's devastating. Um, we've got about 97,000 restaurants and bars across Canada. And approximately 1.2 million uh, employees are pretty much being laid off. Um, our company does bookkeeping for restaurants. So that's one of the services we provide. And our office did about 3,000 ROEs for people last week alone, just, just for our clients. So it's, it's absolutely devastating. I mean, restaurants, in the best of times, restaurants, we all know it's a hard industry, but in the best of times, uh, restaurants are basically, you know, surviving week to week on, on revenues that are coming in. So, you know, when, when it was looking like a 20% decline in restaurants, we were worried then just in a 20% decline in restaurant traffic. But, you know, with restaurants closed, it's absolutely devastating. And we know that some are remaining open with takeout or delivery services only. Can that sustain a restaurant business? No, you know what? It's, it's, I think a lot of restaurants are trying to support some salaried staff that they've kept on like either a key chef or even their, their own, if they're an owner, um, they're trying to support that. But I mean, really, it's like putting a Band-Aid on a, a cut to your artery. I mean, it's, it's, it's a temporary measure. Um, you know, what restaurants really need, they need support from two angles right now. They need support from the community. Um, the community supporting these places that are still open doing takeout for sure. Uh, whatever they can do to order in or to uh, support the business that way. Or also a great uh, campaign that's going around is to buy gift certificates from those restaurants. So if you were going to eat out tonight, but you obviously can't, go buy a $200 or $300 gift certificate from that restaurant to use when this all passes over. Um, but the bigger thing the, the, the restaurants need is the support from, from the government, which has started, but I, they need to see a lot more. Uh, like the only way this industry comes out of this is if these restaurants can open uh, once this pandemic is over. Without government support, I estimate that probably about 60 to 70 percent of restaurants will not reopen. And they that, can't sustain. And so David, that support there be in, in business loan. Sorry, yeah. No, I was just going to say that's a scary number that, that you are telling us. That's a very high number. And you had mentioned the community supporting. Um, you know, people are still a little bit concerned about the, you know, uh, the, co the precautions that are being taken by these places that are still av uh, available for delivery and takeout. What are the restaurants doing to kind of, you know, heed those? Well, I think when, when the, the concern came out, I know all of our clients were uh, very much proactive in sanitation procedures. And, you know, sanitary's always, sanitation's always been a big thing in restaurants. Uh, I think that's even more so the case now, and and especially um, the ones that are doing takeout are doing all that they can uh, to make sure that is a san sanitary environment. Uh, we understand, I mean, you know, I've only heard what I've heard from the experts, but we understand that the virus can't be transmitted through food and consumption of food. Um, we would still recommend if you're getting takeout and packaging that you sanitize the packaging yourself when it comes. Um, but, you know, I, I think that it's, it's as safe as going and getting food from the grocery store, in my opinion. And maybe, for, not, maybe even safer because you're not leaving your house. And, sure. and that's the other thing. For people who are using those apps to have it delivered to their home, what is the safest measure? Because there is that human-to-human -human face interaction. Do you recommend they just leave it at the front door, ring the doorbell? What, is, what do you do in terms of, you know, having it delivered to your house? Yeah, a lot of um, a lot I think are now leaving it just at the door, ringing the doorbell, leaving at the door because you've paid online and what have you. Um, and a lot of the restaurants uh, that are staying open and, and morphing, a lot of the the full service restaurants are morphing their service to this takeout and pickup um, operation, um, and they're doing they're doing pickup from the restaurant, so you can always go and pick it up yourself, right? Mm -hmm. um, but again, you know, I think as long as you're providing, you know, you're being sanitary, you're washing your hands, you're 
keeping your relatively safe distance. I, I don't think it, it's any unsafer than probably most of your daily activities, even just going to the grocery store, like I said. And quickly, David, are restaurants that are still staying open, the employees that they've had to kind of cancel shifts for, how are they taking care of those employees? Uh, they're all being let off. I mean, again, you know, restaurants, these restaurants that, that are staying open, um, I, I mean, they're scraping by. So the layoffs, like I honestly think the government right now is dealing with probably about 900,000 layoffs from the restaurant industry alone, at least over the, over the from three days ago to probably middle of next week, it's gonna be 900,000 layoffs. Uh, restaurants cannot afford, they can't afford to, to keep paying them in any fashion. Right. And most of them are concerned about how they're gonna pay April 1st round. David, thank you for this information. It was enlightening and I'm sure we'll be having more conversations with you as the days and weeks continue. For more information on COVID-19 and how it's affecting all the industries, just head to citynews.ca.